Okay, so I got arrested one time. I've been to jail one time. Um, it was random. It was so random. It was like you got arrested. I did. Damn. I did. Uh, no, I no one. No one ever think it would be me. <laughs> right. I didn't think it would be me. So when I I got arrested, I laughed because I was like, I can't believe this is me. I'm no criminal. <laughs> but it was like three years ago, and it's kind of what I get for hanging out with white folks because. Mm. I, I'm linked up with some some white people. I never had white friends, but I worked at this place where it was a bunch of white people. And like we were saying earlier, white people like to get you fucked up. Right. That's so their agenda. Right. That's, right. that's their agenda. And I wasn't. I wasn't. We, I just happened to go to this bar that was next to my job. And I'm drinking here and there, drinking whatever. And uh, I leave the bar. And I'm just driving. I'm feeling good. I didn't even have, I had like two drinks, but I'm small. So, right. but they don't know like the weekend before I was toe up and I was racing, but I was 21. I, I, I thought I was invincible, whatever. <laughs> so I'm leaving the, leaving the bar and I see some police lights. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Why, why are they pulling me over? But I was in a white neighborhood at mm. two in the morning mm. and I'm not drunk. I promise you I'm not drunk. When people be like, I, I wasn't drunk. I literally was not. I was Sound like cool. an episode of Cops right now. Just like so you know. No, I'm for not real. Drunk. No. Uh, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> But it's true what the commercials say, buzz driving is drunk driving. <laughs> Like seriously. So I'm yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, I was feeling good, but I wasn't like I said, the weekend before I was fucked up. Right. So I get pulled over. And I just so happened to be listening to this white channel. And I think, like, Ed Sheeran was on. Damn. I was like, oh, they're not going to arrest me. You were me. committed that night. I was. I was like, they're not going <laughs> to mess with me if I'm listening to Ed Sheeran. Right. Like, so I got my Ed Sheeran on. The police walks up. Uh, it was a lady cop. And uh, she was like, could you please turn your music down? I was like, oh, you don't like that song? Let me just go ahead and <laughs> turn that down. And she was like, you know why I pulled you over? I'm like... No, because I checked my speed. I wasn't speeding. I know where I'm at. Right. You know, we, we have a different set of rules being black people in America. Right. And she was like, you were swerving in and out of traffic. I was like, I don't believe so, but if you say so, okay. Right. And then she uh, she asked for my license, asked for my insurance. Couldn't find it. Damn. But I found it. Like, she came back to the car. I'm all reaching over into the, <laughs> the glove, glove compartment. Yeah. Could have got shot at any time. Shout right. out to the lady cop who didn't kill me. Uh, <laughs> So she comes back and she was like, okay, uh, have you been drinking? Yes. She's like, what'd you drink? I said, crown, crown apple. I ain't tell her how much. Damn. I ain't tell you I had two, <laughs> two drinks. But uh, she was like, okay, we're going to do a field sobriety test. Oh, I was shit. like, okay, I'm about to, I ain't a field test in my life. I'm about right. to pass this. Bring it on. Flying colors. But it was freezing cold that night. It was like in the middle of, it was like the end of March. But you Ooh. know, Midwest. Is this? this is in Cleveland. Ooh. Well, it was in a, I don't even remember what the name of the city was, yeah. but uh, they, I step outside the car. I'm like, hold on, let me put my, I'm reaching all in my pockets, doing everything you're not Damn. supposed to do as a, as a black person in America. I'm, re, I'm like, hold on, let me, I'm reaching in my pockets. I'm like, let me get these gloves out because it was freezing. Mm -hmm. And then it was another cop, male cop with a, with a, all I could see was a silhouette because they, you know, they got them bright lights. Yeah. So I'm doing the, this test first mm -hmm. and I'm smiling when I'm doing it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's over Checking there, your over there. Eyesight. Like, yeah, doing yeah. that. She's flashing lights in my eyeballs. Uh, then we do the test where you do this, pass that. To check your balance? Yeah, you your do nose? this dumb okay. shit, whatever. And then she was like, okay, you got to walk the one on the, on the invisible oh, line. Snap. I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to fail this. I told her, I'm, I'm going to fail this. I got a bad ankle and my balance is terrible. So I mean, Let her know that up front. Yeah, but everything else, I'm cool. So I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like wobbling and stuff. But it's, it's literally, I'm telling you, right. I don't sound like I wasn't drunk. Right. But I wasn't. Right, 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 right. So uh, at the end of it, she's like, turn around. I was like, okay, I'm about to be on my way. It's like... <laughs> Now put your hands behind your back. Damn. I said, oh, damn, I done got arrested. <laughs> so I start laughing. I'm like, oh, my God. She, and then she read me my rights, and she's like, pat me down. She was like, is there anything that could poke me, stab me, or whatever? I was like, maybe. She was like, what do you mean? And I was like, uh, <laughs> I have a knife. I don't know where it is. It's either in my pocket or it's in my glove compartment. Damn. Not to mention, I lost half a blunt. And, you know, weed is not legal in Cleveland oh, at this time. Oh, snap. So you don't know where that's at at the no, time. No, I didn't know where it was at. I did Damn. lose it in my car, though. Um, they put me in a car and they have the hardest seats. Oh my God. It's like more uncomfortable than like old black church pews. It's Damn. so like, I don't, I don't even know. You know, like them kid chairs, like in, in, uh, the metal ones that they unfold. Not even metal. It's like that, that big chair that look like a crayon, 
What's that? You know them big fat oh, yeah, yellow chairs? Yeah, yeah, the hard plastic yeah, them, yeah, it felt like that on um, the back. And then you trying to, I'm like, damn, bitch, I can't get a seatbelt or nothing. Damn. I'm just back here, whatever. Sliding they took, and shit. Right, they took my car, and oh, my God. It took so long for them to book me. So they asked me the same questions over and over and over again. And then they do this thing where they confuse you, and mm. they're like, if you submit to the, to the, uh, to the, the blood, whatever the, the blood, breathalyzer? yeah, the breathalyzer test, yeah. then you may or may not get your license suspended. But if you don't submit to it, then you're for sure gonna get your license suspended. So you can either kinda not really get them suspended, or you can. Why like, are they for asking sure. a drunk person this anyway? I wasn't drunk. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm Allegedly. fully, I'm fully coherent in everything. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Right. So, um, what'd she do? She was really actually this this cop was really nice. I still think all cops suck, but this lady Damn. specifically was having a good day. <laughs> nice. Um. This was, yeah, so I'm like, man, I, I had a girlfriend at the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I can't call her because uh, she had like an out-of-state number. I'm like, man, my girlfriend going to trip if I don't call her. If I don't call her, she let me, I'm texting in the middle while they booking me. They took the handcuffs yeah. off. They uh, gave me some nice Crocs. Uh, she let me. Shoes? Yeah, they gave wow. me some Crocs. You got the VIP treatment. Yeah, I mean, because I had on like some, um. Some some Doc Martens. Oh, okay. And you know, when you go to jail, you can't have shoestrings like I'm going to kill myself in a holding cell. Right. I'm about to get out in the morning. Right, right. Whatever. Uh, so they gave me that. Um, I went to sleep. It actually was the best sleep I ever had. Damn. I woke up confused because the man, one of the cops was like, good morning, Miss Carter. Would you like breakfast? I was like, oh, I didn't got a hotel last Damn. night, I guess. I was so confused. <laughs> and then uh, it was, I was in jail and it was about this big. And I started tripping after a while. I started doing push-ups and everything. I'm like, oh, they ain't going to. I was in there by ain't myself. Punk me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanted some water. I'm like, man, can I get some? Man, y'all had me talking all night. Can I get some water? <laughs> yeah. They like, uh, yeah, go ahead in that cell. And you know how it's the toilet and the sink connected to yeah. each other. I was like, oh, no, I'm not about to get hepatitis. I'm one night in jail. <laughs> this is one night only. I'm not, no. So he was like, okay, I got you. You go and get me some water. I'm pretty sure he got it from another cell. Yeah. Yeah. Just made so. you feel better about yeah, it. Yeah, I had to pee a thousand <laughs> times because I was drinking uh, Crown and ginger ale. And so I'm over here peeing. <laughs> People watching me pee. Damn. And, uh, the, Are you the terrified? Are you terrified? Going through all this? Are you terrified? Are you, no. Any, uh, no, I thought it was really dumb. I couldn't gosh. believe it. I was I was disappointed in myself, and I thought it was hilarious <laughs> yeah. because I never thought I would be in that position. Right. So needless to say, I did not learn my lesson because uh, I, was, I was not scared at all. But when they did bring me... First pull up to the... So you to the, thought you had some of that privilege sprinkled off in your name. No, you know, your friends even, had I mean, you something. I'll be all right. <laughs> they weren't like super... <laughs> they weren't super aggressive. So okay. that made for a better situation. And like I said, we black in America. Right. It's a specific way how we have to act. Right. And even if we choose... Not to say if you don't act in this accordance, this way, something won't happen to you. But I was like, well, I'd rather not give them a reason. Not right. that if you act out, it is a reason. Right. But I was like, well, I'm just going... I'm just going to chill. Right. Because... I gotta pick my battles. I don't. I don't believe that I was. I was swerving that night, and they gave me dry ass pancakes. You got pancakes in I jail? I did, but it was dry as fuck. Shout out to wherever this jail is, nah. man. If LAPD <laughs> locked me up, I'm like, nigga, if you don't take me to Cleveland, <laughs> <laughs> it was in a white neighborhood. It was cool, uh, wow. but it was like really dry. But the peaches were on point. Fresh fruit. Pancakes and peaches. Mm -hmm. Then I got bailed out, and then I went to hotel jail after that, which is like <laughs> you waive your mandatory three nights in jail, and you go to this AA seminar at a um, at a hotel. We were at the Hilton. What? Yeah, the Hilton. I had to pay three hundred dollars for that, but I did a shared room, and it didn't make any sense because I roomed with two white girls, and they both got the bed, and I got like an air mattress on the fucking floor. Oh, that's cold. And I was like, um, excuse me, affirmative action says <laughs> right. I get to have one of these beds. Right. So what y'all about to do? Right. So I slept on the floor. Um, Damn. All night, and I wanted to. I I I never. Like when people people in there really do have problems, they really they don't believe they have problems, but they really do. Right. But that weekend makes you think you have a problem. I'm like, damn, I ain't never wanted to drink so bad because y'all keep talking about drinking. I want to drink. We right. can't drink. I want to drink. Man, and people have terrible stories in there. So yeah, I, I paid a lot of money. I uh, got my license suspended damn. for three months only, um, and a little bit of light skin privilege. Damn, <laughs> you went in and out. You had a yeah, pretty decent experience in there. Shit. Yeah. Man, I'm gl I'm almost mad you told me that story because now I feel like if I get locked up, I'm a low key be expecting that shit. Yeah. But wait a minute, <laughs> where are my pancakes? <laughs> yeah, you don't uh, want them. I almost died, it <laughs> suffocated to death. Them dry as pancakes. Damn. I could dip them in the water and they were still dry. 
<laughs> he was like, you sure you don't want no syrup? I'm like, no, it's cool. Right. Like, <laughs> Damn. God. That's wild. Yeah. And how long after that did you decide, all right, comedy is something I'm, I want to take? Were you doing comedy at that oh, time? Oh, yeah, I was doing comedy already. Oh, dope. So how <laughs> soon did you start using that material? Because I know, um, did it take you a while or do you even use that material on stage? I'm still trying to figure it out because <laughs> yeah. it's so much. Like, it's such yeah. a long story. Right. Um, but I, I did talk about it, like, a couple of times. Like, I didn't want everybody to know my business. Sure, sure, sure. So I wasn't, like, pressed you know, to, to be like, hey, I went to jail. Right. But until now. Until now. It's been so long. I mean, right. it ain't like you can I think I took a really good like mugshot. I was smiling. I was Snap. Like, Jeez. Be be on the lookout for the cute mugshot. Yeah, it was like a it was like a little headshot type right. of type of thing. That's how I was looking at it. it was That's like, funny. I'm gonna use this later. Right. You know, as you continue to blow up and pop, they're gonna find it and you're gonna yeah. be on the shade on one of them sites. This she is from Z Run and he Like, run. yeah, when I was twenty one, yeah, right. yeah. We all we've all had a had a rough night. That's dope. I bet you I won't ever get arrested ever again. No. Nah, nah. Not because of the jail part. Because, like I said, I was in there by myself. And I just went to sleep and I woke up and I got bailed out. Damn, that's best case scenario. You alone. Right. I right. was cool. But, like, the, the as many questions as they asked me over right. and over again. Right. And it was, what's your name? First, this, that, over right. and over again. Like, I swear to God, I answered the same questions maybe five times. It was like filling out an application five <laughs> times with the questionnaire. Hell it was no. so... It took like two hours of paperwork That's just it. to get me processed. And now I belong to the system. Wow. Here we are. But I don't have a DUI, for those who are wondering. Oh, definitely. Don't have a DUI. Don't have any points on my license. Any of that. So. Sounds like a success story to me. It did. Shout out Damn. to the little light skin privilege. That <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> so how long have you been in the game, the comedy game, overall so far? Five years. Five years. So five years. Nice five years. And yeah. were you always just this funny person and then just kind of decided to pop into open mic or what made you decide, all right, you know what, I'm, I'm going to get on stage and, um, and talk about my shit? I was always shy. I was I was like shy. You shy? Yeah. Get the fuck no, out of like, here. <laughs> people don't believe me when I say I'm shy. I am really shy. Like if, if I'm like uncomfortable, you'll know it. Right. But like when I was a little girl, I was like, I grew up in church. Yeah. And uh, we would have to like tell speeches like only two times a year, Christmas right. and Easter. Yeah. And I would always cry. Uh, Every When trip. it was your turn, like they were yes. gone, baby. It's 10, it was say like your we'd part. go up and I'd be like panicking. Like I would cry <laughs> every single time until wow. I was about 12, I swear wow. to God. So comedy wasn't, public speaking was not ever an option for me. What? And I didn't know that I was funny until like high school okay. and people started telling me. But I don't know, it just kind of got into, I did videos first right. and then it kind of just opened the door for stand up. Dope. Yeah. Okay. And you started in Cleveland. I did. And then you said, all right, I think I've kind of got my feet wet here. Yeah. I'm ready to go on the big and better. Yeah, and brought no. you out here. Yeah, and I well, came to LA, yeah. How was that process? You have a lot of support. Did you have a plan together when you came out here, or did you kind of wing this shit like a little? Uh, I had some support. My mom gave me like a couple stats. Damn! Shout out to mom. <laughs> Tell your uh, mama to follow me on the gram real quick, please. One time. I mean, it, it was like such a split decision. It was like, okay, I'm going out. I right. always knew that I was going to move to LA. It just, right. it was like only a matter of time. But it was like so fast the turnover. I was just like, uh, I'm leaving. In two days, and then I left. And my best friend, Mina Corderman, Mina Q, we do videos all the time together. Right. She was like, "Well, you can stay with me until you find a place." I never found a place, so I'm still staying with her. But it was cool. Like you know, I, I came out here. I had my, now y'all met when you moved out here, right? No, we met in uh, we met before that. We met a couple of months before that. Oh, that's dope. But we just clicked. Y'all did. That's dope, man. I love the magic that you, that, that, uh, you and me to create together. Super yeah. fire. Well, thank you. Right. Super dope. Yeah. So you've been tearing up these stages, you know, uh, coming from the the videos, because there's mm -hmm. always been this comparison between right. stand-up comics and online comics. Do you feel like that really gave you an advantage, building a following and having that experience off screen to then stepping on stage to doing comedy? Or do you feel like people's expectations were so high at that point? Like, or, or how did you kind of Oh, didn't nobody know me when I started comedy. <laughs> and it, that was by design. I wasn't like millions of followers in. Like had I been there, I didn't want to get to that point. And of course, people expect you to be, because you're funny online, to be funny on stage. And right. you've never done stand-up a day in your life. I didn't want to do that. I kept right. hearing stories about all of these uh internet sensations who were like not having a good time, like having a great time on stage. So I was right. like, well, I'm, that's not going to be me. So when I started, nobody knew who I was. I mean, a couple of people did, but 
I don't think Ain't no that couple, there's... girl. You know you came out here, people kinda knew who no, you were. No, I mean when I came to LA <laughs> people knew me, but when I started when I started like stand up itself, I was like I start I stopped doing the videos. Gotcha. So I could develop the skills separately. But I don't think anybody for one moment, because I, I befriended a lot of comedians and they told me it was different. So I yeah. never expected because I was funny on stage, uh, funny on screen that I was gonna be funny on stage. Right. And I don't know if I was. I don't remember that time. I'm right. pretty sure I wasn't. But you know, look at me now. Okay. Yeah, you've been out here getting it. You've been out here getting it. I was seeing you. Okay, yeah, okay. we was just saying earlier, like, you know, we, I met you at the comedy store right. around the time you first moved here. Right. And uh, I was interested to kind of see what you were like on stage as well. I think right. you followed and stuff. I was like, oh, snap, she's funny. She's got a good following. But I was yeah. interested. And I saw you work on stage, and I was impressed. I thought you held yourself really well. Thank you. And I had you on one of my shows we did yeah. in, uh, in, a, in, a, in Hollywood, um, right? Yeah, the we did a was little, the little theater. Yeah, yeah, the that theater was cool. Yeah, and yeah. You, you killed it up there. So That was a good show. Yeah, I think you, you represent well on well, the screen thank you. and off. So uh, speaking of, obviously you excel in both of those areas. Do you like or do you see yourself being a, a traveling stand-up or an on-camera mm -hmm. comedic actor? I you think I see myself doing everything there is to do as far as comedy is concerned. Yeah. Um, I, I don't mind at all touring. I don't mind at all being a comedic actor. I, I think you don't have to choose. And especially in comedy, it's kind of you're not going to be as successful as you think you are if you just choose one thing. You have to throw yourself into acting. You have to throw yourself into so many other things just to make the amount of money you want to have to be successful, you facts, know? Facts, so facts, like facts. Kevin Hart wouldn't necessarily be Kevin Hart at this degree if it wasn't for the movies. Man. Mike Epps wouldn't be who he is facts. if it wasn't for the movies. Cat Williams wouldn't be, well, they were funny stand-ups, but nobody knew who they were. Right. So you have to put yourself in a different category just right. to be seen. And then right. people are like, oh, that person, okay. Whatever, because let's be real. Like when it comes to stand-up, people kind of don't care. Right. Unless they're true fans of comedy. But... Right. When it, like if you're gonna watch a movie, you're gonna see a stand-up show, people are like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see the movie. Of course, especially if it's a yeah. comedian you like. You yeah, just, yeah. you're like, who is that? Who what? Facts, facts, <laughs> facts, man. So 2020 has been a, been a hell of a year. There's been a lot of a lot of shit going on, unpredicted things. Man. Um, how have you adapted to this new <laughs> way of life? I mean, COVID, everybody's quarantining, and uh, a lot of comics that were on the road and doing these things have, you know, become stagnant. Obviously, you have a good uh, base, so your online videos can kind of keep up, but how have you been adjusting, or have you been... Uh, I've been losing my mind, um, not, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> not being on stage. It, right. it didn't bother me at first, but now it's starting to bother me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's really, I'm like, uh, I really need to get on stage, but I was always doing something comedy-related throughout my day, so it wasn't anything totally different it's just weird to like finish out my day after I'm done doing the comedy things like on video right. and not hit a stage right. and not be able to hit a stage right. or whatever and it's not and, and even if we were in a position where we could hit stages like the open mics were available it's not like LA has a super welcoming uh, local scene so mm -hmm. if you're not someone who is a regular at the comedy right. store laugh factory right. or any of these places then you're kind of shit out of luck right. to begin with right so you're gonna go pay your money to go hit an open mic, hit an open mic with right. nobody it's right. like what's the point but it has a uh, put me in a position where i can think a lot I think about these jokes mm -hmm. write different things mm -hmm. so i appreciate that because you know uh being a you know you're a comedian you always on the move always doing shows and how how many times are you sitting there and like oh uh, you know let me think about this joke. Right. You're just trying to make people laugh. Right. So I think it's a, uh, it's kind of testing as a as a comedian. Like, do these jokes really work and why? Right. And think about this and make that into a joke. So it's kind of like forcing people to, uh, I don't know, tap Become into different shit. Yeah, yeah. Be creative. Like yeah. I was already creative, so. Right. It didn't take a quarantine, but when the quarantine first started, I did stop doing videos. I did because I needed a little break. I was tired. I think that's the biggest thing, that the biggest blessing that we got in all of this is the ability to be able to <sighs> take yeah. a deep breath and relax because, you know, I'm not from here either. So a lot right. of people that come here and we have these dreams, we get so busy. We're ready to book. We're ready to create. We're ready to build. Now we got to go support such and such's show mm -hmm. and such and such having a screen and there's a red carpet event. So we always are out. This gave us a free pass to just sit your black ass down somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have Relax. to, yeah. Because <laughs> if you think about it, like mm -hmm. the 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 um, the celebrities that we look up to, mm -hmm. they don't 
non-stop work like how we work. Right. They don't. Right. They take breaks. They take vacations all the time. It's right. not like uh, Drake then dropped an album and now Drake is in the studio working right. on another album. Right. No, that's not the case. Drake then put out his damn album. He relaxed and he living his life so he can have something else to talk about. Right. Damn it, shit. Right. That's how we get perspective. And right. Stuff. Yeah. How you gonna get perspective and, and jokes if you don't live? So I've been, I've, I think I've lived more this this year than I've lived in my entire life. Because wow. my whole life since I was 20 has been about, well, before that, when I, since I was 17, has been about videos or comedy. Right. Everything it revolved around comedy. She was 17. Nothing. I was like four, five years ago. <laughs> Get your young ass about uh, it. It was eight. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's, you got you got it. That's dope, man. Yeah. Now, um, what about the, like, the, the, the dating scene? How is that? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's... Mm -hmm. um, a, you know, a pandemic, so that's changed the dynamics. Do you see dating and even interacting with friends and family <laughs> changing after this? Um, well, before uh, I went to record the show, before quarantine, I was not dating at all. Mm. So uh, now that we are in quarantine, I have been dating. I have gone on dates with a couple of people. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know because when I came to LA, I wasn't, I wasn't dating, so yeah. I don't know. But I know when I tried to date, when yeah. it wasn't quarantine, it just wasn't happening for me. Yeah, I wasn't on like dating sites or anything like that. I, I thought that that was stupid. I was yeah. like, why would I get on a dating app yeah. and get molested and raped <laughs> and, <laughs> right. and die? Why would I want to do that? Right. But then, like, once <laughs> I was like on it, then I, then I deleted it, and then once we got back into the quarantine, right. like in July, I was like. Here. Fuck this. I'm about to get these hoes. <laughs> I'm tired of this. What's my password? Let me see if I can get in this month. I recreated my, my data app only yeah. on Hinge because you can set your preferences. I heard about Hinge. It's actually yeah. okay. Yeah. It's okay. Like, you can set your pre preferences because it's like, I only date black men. Okay. Right? So, like, if I go... <laughs> Shout I, out to black men. Okay. Right. You know, uh, yeah. I don't... I don't. I can't go on Tinder. It's, it's, I'm going to just be exing yeah. all day. Not that there's anything wrong with white men. I just think that I like black men. That's yeah. it. Hey. Do you. Do you white men? Yeah, just don't do it over here. Hey. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. But yeah, it's just uh, yeah, I've, I have dated and it's been like cool. It's been okay. I mean, I don't know. It's not like I'm about to get married. Or sure, 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 sure. It's cool. Yeah, take your time, man. Take your time. I don't know. You're still I'm young, chasing so. what's, what you want and what you desire, man. Yeah. A lot of people are looking for the relationship more than their own self interest and their own future and all of that. So that I don't think you can uh, be on a date nap and expect to be like, I'm getting married soon. Right. But people do say that. That's how it is out here in LA. These women yeah. are getting frustrated. I'm not finna be wasting my time. <laughs> what are we? It's like, it's, it's you finna be wasting you. your time over here <laughs> because we ain't getting married. I can't right. tell you how many men are like, Yo, so uh, when you want to have kids, I'm like, uh, never. Like, you should have already had yours. Like, right. what do you mean? I'm not about to. Ugh. Well, you know you want some kids. Mm -hmm. Not right now. Not, not right. before I'm before I'm 30. Yeah. Not any time before 35. All right, fellas. Okay. All right. Y'all got a good 10 years. There you go. Get your pool game right <laughs> together, fellas. Get it together, get it together. All right, man. Well, for sure, man. Well, before we wrap up, man, I definitely want to give you an opportunity to shout out, promote anything, uh, where we can catch you, where we can see you. Obviously, coming to the <laughs> big screen oh, soon. Okay. But before then, where can people uh, check you out and find you? Um, You can check me out on Instagram, underscore, underscore, J-A-S-M-Y-N, YouTube, Jasmine Carter, spelled the same way. TikTok, I hate TikTok, hey. but TikTok, Jasmine underscore Carter, Facebook, Jasmine Carter. I'm every, just Google me, Google. Jasmine Carter, comedian. You find me. There it is. All Do your that. research, nigga. She'll, yeah. she'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> but Shizzle, thanks for coming yeah. through, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate you having the time. Okay. It's been real. It's been lovely. Hey, man, y'all know how we do it. Do tell with Laugh After Dark. I've been your boy, Charlie Wilson. We'll see y'all next time. Look at y'all out here tuning in. Ah, oh, thank you. I, I see. No, I see you. <laughs> yeah, make sure now, before you leave, make sure you like it, you follow it, and you subscribe it. Probably got some spit right there. You know what to do, though. It's Laugh After Dark. <laughs>